the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. Leading the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. have announced that they intend to assassinate the Director General of the United Asian Republic. They have already made one unsuccessful attempt on his life, and you can be certain they will try again. The Director General is the elected leader of 200 million people, and I don't have to spell out the consequences if he is killed. This must not be allowed to happen. The Director General is scheduled to leave London International Airport at 1500 hours international time today. Every precaution must and will be taken. His safety will be in your hands. Captain Blue, you will leave as soon as possible. Right, sir. Will Captain Scarlet be going with you? Captain Scarlet? I should hardly think so. Well, Doctor? Just one or two questions, Captain Scarlet, and my tests are complete. Right, Doctor. I want you to cast your mind back to just before the crash. The crash? Yes, Captain. Tell me everything you remember. Well, let's see. We were on our way to escort the world president to New York. I was driving. Captain Brown was with me. I remember I wished him luck. Well, your first big assignment. I wish you luck. Thanks. Do you think the President's life really is in danger? Well, judging by what happened on the Martian expedition, I'd say the Mysterans have the capability of carrying out their threat. If only we were fighting something we understood, something tangible, something in three dimensions. I know what you mean. We can only hear them over our radios, but I've got a feeling they're with us all the time. <laughs> I 
remember feeling the heat of the flames on the back of my neck. And then? Then? Do you recall anything else? No, nothing. The rest is a blank. I see. Fine. Thank you, Captain. You can relax now. What's the verdict, Doctor? Well, you have been through an experience outside the knowledge of medical science. For six hours, your mind and body were taken over by an unknown force, the Mysterons. You were a robot, which they used for their own ends. A robot that was indestructible. In human terms, you were killed several times over. Killed? I don't understand. How could I have been killed? I don't even have a scar. Right, Captain. Within hours, your injury is healed without a trace. You are exactly as you were before the episode, with one exception. And that is? My tests have proved conclusively you have retained the ability of retrometabolism. A bullet will make you bleed, you will feel the pain, but after a few hours, even a fatal wound will heal completely. Captain Scarlet, you are still virtually indestructible. <laughs> I've read your report, Doctor, and made my decision. Captain Scarlet, the tremendous implications of all this may not yet be fully understood. And naturally, further tests will have to be carried out. But in the present threatening situation, I'm ready to take a calculated risk. If you agree, I'd like you back on duty as of now. I'm ready, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. We face a formidable task, but I think you may well be our greatest asset in the fight against the Mistrons. Gentlemen, we have a job to do. Yes, sir. I leave for London right away. SIG. Lieutenant Green. Sir. Plan B is operational. Launch all angels. Yes, sir. Angels two and three. Immediate launch. S.I.G. Good luck. Scheduled personnel proceed to London International Airport. Your radio link is channel 021. The code call is Zodiac. Repeat, Zodiac. Captain Blue will be your field commander. SIG. Switch on the display, Lieutenant Green. Yes, sir. Within an hour, the airport will be sealed. But I have a feeling somewhere plans are being made to break that seal. Intercontinental Airlines, New York, announces the departure of Stratojet Flight DT-19, bound for London International Airport. Leveling off, sir. Reduced to MEC. Maximum efficiency cruise. Have we had a flash from the weather satellite? Yes, sir. Slight turbulence around PONR. But a 30-knot tailwind all the way. Good. We should be in London for lunch. It's great to have you back on duty, Captain Scarlett. It's great to be back. Do we go straight to the airport? No. We land about 30 miles from it and drive the rest of the way. I want to check the route the Director General will take. Reference 10, oblique 4, July 10th. Dear sir, the shipment of steel received last week at my Peterville works. Can I help you? Captain Blue, Spectrum. 
Identification? Thank you. The trailer, over there. Thank you, sir. Spectrum agent 042, pursuit vehicle 105, requisitioned at 1300 hours local time. We are en route to the airport. We'll be there in approximately 12 minutes. SIG, Captain Blue. A 1,600 miles from London. With this tailwind, we should be there in 70 minutes. We're just passing the PONR. Trouble on the port outer, sir. It's a flare-up. Shut it down. Number one starboard's cutting, sir. Shut that down, too. Losing power on number two starboard. What? Number two is cut out, sir. Send out a mayday to London. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Delta Tango 1-9. It's a London control. This is Delta Tango. Come in, London. Come in, London control. The radio's dead, sir. We've no choice. Emergency procedure. We've lost all power. We can't have. There's no response at all. Hydraulics? Negative. Electrics? Negative. Auxiliaries? Negative, all negative. It's as if someone or, or something has disconnected everything in the plane. Remember, you're supposed to be the Director General. Now, once you're underway, stop for nobody. I'll follow in five minutes. SIG. There goes the decoy motorcade. The real Director General will follow in the tanker. I hope it works. So do I, sir. Come in. We're ready, sir. If you'll come to the rear entrance. Are you ready, sir? Yes, Captain. Right. Now. Your personal jet will be waiting at London International Airport, sir. Impressed by your efficiency. You don't leave much to chance. Thank you, sir. I ought to report to headquarters. Sure. Just give the radio operator the frequency. That won't be necessary. 
Captain Scarlet and I are in the control tower at London International Airport. Spectrum agents are concealed in strategic positions. The airport is sealed. Thank you, Captain. The decoy motorcade is nearing the airport. The tanker won't be far behind. I admire your safety arrangements, Captain. Oh, thank you, sir. How long before we reach the airport? We'll be there in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Delta Tango, one niner to London Control. Come in, Delta Tango. Request umbrella clearance and weather report. London Control to Delta Tango, visibility five miles. Cloud three tenths, ceiling 4,000 feet. You are clear to join umbrella at three, repeat 3,000 feet. Thank you, London Control. your position. We're three miles west of the motorcade. We'll be with you in about 15 minutes. Angel leader to London Control. The motorcade is about to enter the airport. They're at the terminal building. Let's hope our luck holds. London Control to Delta Tango, you may commence final approach. Confirm that the runway is zero. To Are you all right, Captain? Captain. What is it, Captain? Are you sick? I don't know. My. my head. <laughs> It's all right. I'm fine. Appreciate all your assistance, Captain. Uh, good luck, sir. Thank you. The Director General is about to board his personal jet. SIG, Captain Gray. Well, everything's fine so far. Report from the terminal building, sir. There's some sort of trouble with um, Delta Tango One Niner. They won't open the doors. What's that? They won't open the doors, sir. <laughs> completely empty. The crew and passengers have vanished. It's starting to move away from the terminal. What? It's a booby trap. Tell the Premier's jet to take off immediately. That plane's a Mr. Ron booby trap. I've got to stop it. I'm coming with you. S.I.G., Captain. <laughs> Destiny Angel, the jet ahead of us is in the hands of the Mr. Rons. Attack immediately. S.I.G. 
As soon as we're in range, I'll try for the tires. Range, firing, now. What are you waiting for? It's, it's jammed. I'm gonna run the wheels. That'll be suicide. For you, yes. For me, see you later. Continue aerial attack. That's an order. died in vain. Maybe he didn't die. What? In vain. Scott. 